You've probably seen some of these really, really impressive pictures of Half-Life 2 characters in the real world, and you're probably asking, well, how do they do it? Is it some kind of special model? All it is is a normal character model with the background of real life. But the way they make it look so realistic is to add a cube map to it. In short, a cube map reflects everything around it, and then when it's put on a character model, it looks as if they're inside the scene. This is normally done by taking six pictures, one of the top, the left, the bottom, the right, the back, and the front, and then it's smeared into a nice seamless picture, as you can see here. Anyway, enough of this. This is what it looks like without a cube map in your map, and this is what it looks like with a cube map. Of course, this is the best case scenario for a cube map adding. If you look at the textures individually, you can see the difference. Here you can see the reflection. It's not quite the reflection, but it, it'll do. Here it is in the nice portal style texture. Here it is on the tin roof. And this is one of my favorites. This is a tiled floor. It's really nice. This is a sand texture. It doesn't look anything like this in the editor, but in game it looks really nice. Here's a tile wall that you'll see in Half-Life 2 a bit with, in the fire sequences. Stone wall. This is one of my favorites from Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. This is a sand floor. And you can see the portal texture on the roof. So yeah, it's quite a subtle touch, but you can make it out when you look at it. It, it does add to the scene. Of course, if you look at the ground, you can see the reflection of the hole in the roof. But if you look up, there is no hole in the roof. <gasps> this is a problem with cube maps. It won't be fixed until they introduce real-time cube maps. Anyway, I'll stop with the interesting facts. This is how you add them into the level. You click on the Entity tool, you click in the level, you click on the selection tool, you double click on the entity you just made. Type in E N V cube map. Apply. There. Place it 64 units above the ground because that is head height. And I know it doesn't look like head height, and if you put it next to the person, it's kind of at his shoulder height. But in game, it is his head height, and you can tell that because if you walk up to a box which is 64 units high, you are on exactly the same height as the top of the box. Anyway, that's it. You've added a cube map into your level. I suggest putting one of these in the middle of every room and it, it'll look quite convincing. After you've compiled it, load up the level and oh no, look, there aren't any cube maps. Go into the console, type build cube maps, press enter, it'll compile all of them. I can't show you a picture of this because it crashed my computer every time I tried with Fraps running. After it's compiled, you quit Counter-Strike Source or whichever game you're using, load it up again, and your map will look okay. I hope this helps. For more information, look in the description because I'll type up some more stuff there that's too boring to put into a video.